Hello and welcome everyone to this easygoing yoga class. You can do this as a beginner. And this is kind of a nice Sunday afternoon workout. So come into child's pose, come onto all fours and then push your hips back onto your heels. You might want to open those knees to the sides and then let your forehead come down all the way onto the mat, releasing your neck. Now just get centered and grounded in this child's pose, arriving onto the mat, your hands touching your mat. But you can also use this to move your shoulders, move your neck, your head, and let go of any tension that needs to go. And let's open into a side stretch. So walk out with your right hand to the right, your left hand follows, and you will find a nice stretch all the way in your left side, coming from your left pinky finger all the way into your left sit bone. Let your head hang, forehead on the floor or mat. Keep breathing. Simply come back into center. Get centered here. Maybe feel into left and right if there's anything that you notice and then walk out to the left with your left hand and your right hand follows, opening that whole right side from the right pinky finger all the way to the right sitting bone. Breathe into your ribs and release your head down onto the floor and mat. Pray, then come back into center now we're coming up a little bit into motion. So coming up into all fours with your hips above your knees and your shoulders above your wrists, really anchoring your hands now into the ground. Now change in between the child's pose and the all fours pose. Simply coming up into all fours and then sitting back into child's pose. Now when you come up, you might want to try rounding your back, pushing the spine all the way up to the sky. Then when you come back, you're going to push your hips backwards, opening the chest, opening your heart to the front. Exhale when you come up. And inhale when you push back. Just waving here, rounding the back, coming up. And then push back leading with your hips and again you can play around here with your shoulders your neck and the sides so you might want to come up all the way opening the right side or waving a little bit with your shoulders and neck you are allowed to do some freestyle even in yoga ain't that great then release back all the way onto the ground, releasing the forehead, grounding. Everything is fine, everything is going to be all right. Then come back up onto all fours. We're doing cat cow, maybe you heard about it. We're just getting rid of sitting back into child's pose and just contracting and releasing our back. So exhale, navel comes in, inhale, chest pushes out, head lift. Exhale, feels a little bit like a crunch, and then inhale, arching. Exhale, contract, and inhale, release, opening. There you go. Now push back all the way into your toes and push yourself up into down dog. Now here we are in a chest opener, a spine lengthener, and you will find it to be a calf stretch and maybe even uh, stretching your hamstrings. So walk 
from one side to the other, just finding your pose, grounding your hands, grounding your feet, and then walk forward with both of your feet to both of your hands. And here we are in a forward fold. Again, we're going into a dynamic stretch. We're bending the knees, lifting the head, the chest a little bit and exhaling, folding forward. Inhaling, bending the knees. Maybe your hips come to knee level and exhale, forward fold, letting the head hang. So you might notice that with each exhale, your hamstrings let go a little more. Keep inhaling, bending, and exhale, release. Try releasing your shoulders, your neck, and your head a little more each time. Keep breathing. Inhaling up, exhaling, release. Now st stay here, interlacing your arms so your right hand rests on your left elbow and vice versa. And now just feel into both of your sides. Just a little exploration here of your right side, leaning a little bit to the left, and your left side, leaning a little bit to the right. See what feels good, what feels tense, what needs a bit more stretching and love, and what feels actually great and opening and releasing. And let those arms go, bend your knees, big exhale and roll up into standing. Here we are, first standing pose. Place those fingers, push the palms out. And First, anchor yourself in this upright pose. We've been down for a few minutes. Now here we are, standing onto our two feet. Let those shoulders come down, reaching with the crown of your head all the way up to the sky. Try to engage the navel a little bit. And then we are going to go into another side stretch. So grab your right hand, lean over to the left side, opening the right side, bend your head a little bit to the left as much as you can. Keep breathing, hold it there, smile a little and then come back to center. Change sides, grab your left hand with your right, and then lean over to the right side. Yes, release those shoulders, you don't need to tense those shoulders. Lean the head a little bit to the right. Keep pushing into your feet and open that whole left side. Wow, you're doing great. So this is so important. We open our ribs, we give our lungs space to breathe. Release those arms. Another big inhale, raise those arms up and come down, interlacing both hands behind your back, opening the chest. Come into a slight little back bend, maybe even, but you don't have to. Just do whatever feels good. Another inhale, release those arms coming up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come on up into tabletop, stretching those arms against your knees or shins. And then step back with your right foot. First lunge position. Come back into down dog. And here we are. Come forward into plank. Push down into chaturanga. Small cobra lifting the chest. Exhale, pushing back into downward facing dog. Great. Right foot comes forwards into lunge pose. First round of sun salutation. Fantastic. Then step forwards into forward fold. Let the head hang for a second. Deep inhale. 
And with the next exhale, roll and round yourself up, coming up back into Tadasana, standing pose. Lift the arms overhead, stretch, and exhale, let the arms go. Another round. Inhale, arms overhead, exhale, forward fold, great one. Another round of sun salutation, we're starting with the tabletop. Inhale, reach out with your forehead to the front, hands down, left foot stepping back into lunge pose. Release your hips. Exhale, coming down into down dog, both feet step back. Wonderful. Now reach forward into plank, lower down, exhale. Inhale, cobra, small cobra. Exhale, pushing back into down dog. Here we are again. Second sun salutation, left foot coming forward, lunge pose, release your hips. And a big exhale, forward fold. Wonderful. Big inhale and exhale. Roll yourself up into standing. Inhale, arms overhead. And here we are. Little adventure. We're crossing those arms. Your right elbow comes above your left. And we grab whatever you can of your fingers, uh, thumb or any other finger. Coming into Garuda arms, stretching our shoulder. Right arm on top, left is on the bottom. Then wave those arms out, big circle. Now the left elbow comes on top of the right. Bend those elbows and grab whatever you can. Thumb or finger, Garuda arms, left side. Great shoulder stretch. You might even want to lift your elbows a little bit to the sky. This increases the stretch, but be careful, don't hurt yourself. This is really intense. And then open those arms. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, release down into forward fold. Inhale, tabletop, forehead reaches forward. Exhale, stepping back into lunge. Inhale, exhale, down dog. Wonderful. Inhale, come into plank. Exhale, push down into, into chaturanga. Inhale, small cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog. Great. You will feel everything starts to open. Then bend those knees. Right foot comes forward, low lunge. It's all good, we're here. And then step forward into forward fold. Exhale. Breathe here, release. Inhale, tabletop. And exhale, rolling up into standing, arms overhead. Again, Garuda arms, right hand, right elbow comes on top. Grab and twist your fingers. Stand tall in Tadasana mountain pose. Engage your navel a little bit. Keep breathing. And release, changing sides. Left elbow on top, interlacing the fingers. Remember to ground both feet and to lift the crown of the head all the way into the sky or towards your ceiling. And yes, shoulder stretch are great for the neck and releasing tension. Inhale, arms open up. Exhale, come down, forward fold. Inhale, tabletop. Forehead comes forward. Step back into lunge left foot comes back inhale exhale downward facing dog inhale plank exhale push down inhale cobra exhale down dog wonderful left foot comes forward low lunge inhale 
Exhale, forward fold. Wonderful. Inhale, tabletop. Exhale, fold and roll up, rounding the spine. Arms come overhead and another Garuda. Right hand on top, right elbow on top. Do you feel a difference in your shoulders? Maybe you do. Or you will tomorrow. Keep breathing. Release, open both arms, swing them around, left elbow on top. Wonderful. Feel the space opening, creating in your shoulders. Then release both arms, inhale arms overhead, exhale release down into forward fold. Inhale, tabletop, parallel to the floor. Exhale, step back. Right foot comes back, low lunge. Now here we go into a little dynamic sequence. You've missed though, so exhale, stretch the front leg as much as you can. Inhale, come back down into lunge. Exhale, stretch the front leg just as much as you can and inhale. Come back into lunge. Exhale and stretch. You might want to push into your heel and inhale, release. Just a little dynamic hip opener, hamstring stretch, giving us time to explore and to work with the breath as we come in union of our mind, breath, and body. Exhale, step back into down dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, push down. Inhale, cobra. And exhale, push back into downward facing dog. Here we go. Right foot comes forward into lower lunge. Now we have the other side to do. So come. Inhale into lunge pose. Exhale, stretch the front leg. Is the forerunner of a split, so baby steps. Just do whatever feels good. So inhale, lunge, and exhale, stretch the front leg. Inhale, lunge, and exhale, stretch the front leg. You see me trying different poses here with my hands, so do whatever feels good for your fingers and wrists. Maybe you stay onto your finger tips. Maybe you can have your hands flat. Maybe you come onto both fists or maybe you even have a yoga block helping you to find the correct distance between your shoulders and the floor. Nice one, then step forward into forward fold, big exhale. Inhale, tabletop, and exhale, roll up into standing. Side stretch, grab the right hand, lean over to the left. How does that feel? Do you feel any difference to side more open? Can you lean further to the side? How exciting. Then change onto the other side. Lean over to the right. How does this side feel? Do you notice any difference? Wow, we're opening. And exhale, releasing the arms. Another big inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, folding down, forward fold. Inhale, tabletop. Exhale, release down. Right foot coming back into the lunge. And here we stay a little bit, preparing for our first warrior one so for warrior one we need to anchor our back foot at about 45 degrees so uh, take your time watch your foot and anchor it 45 degrees and once you're there once your heel hits the floor inhale and lift those arms up into warrior one um, stretch out to the sky, shoulders relaxed, 
and now come as deep as you can without your back heel lifting from the floor. If ever you have too much tension in your calf or your ankle, just lift the heel and come into lunge pose. There's no need hurting yourself. Maybe a little back stretch here, opening a little further up and back. And then come back down with your hands onto the floor and step back into downward facing dog. Wow. Now breathe. This was amazing. Deep inhale, deep exhale for letting everything go. You did fantastic. Then come forward with your right foot. So we're changing side now. First, find your spot. Shift forwards and backwards. Observe your back foot. Ask yourself, what feels good to me? Now, do I want to anchor my foot 45 degrees? Do I want to stay in lunge, keeping the heel up? So do whatever feels good for you. Anchor your back foot. Come up into warrior one. Try keeping your heel on the ground if it's not painful or creating too much tension. Now the goal of this pose is a huge hip opening. This goes deep into the psoas, into the deep hip flexor muscle here. Opening the hip. Fantastic. Maybe a little leaning back. Little back bend in warrior one. And there we are. Releasing back. Letting those arms go, finding the ground with your hands and then step forward into forward fold as soon as you can. <laughs> now this was intense, so breathe it all out. Big exhale in forward fold, then inhale coming up tabletop, exhale release and roll up into standing Tadasana mountain pose. Inhale, arms overhead, exhale, interlace the fingers behind your back and open the chest. Come into a little bit of a back bend here, pulling both shoulders down. And you can always move the head a little back and right, uh, left and right. Be proud of yourself because you did great. It's just one other round of adventure coming. So inhale, arms up, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, tabletop, exhale, step back into planning. Here we are, holding isometric core work. Stay in your plank and then push back into down dog. Thank you very much. This was surprise, uh, surprise plank. Now walk your feet out and close your feet a little bit so that you can lift your right foot off the ground. Now lift your right foot as high as you can, as high as you can, and then bend the right knee and try to pull your right foot over to the left with your shoulders staying as parallel as possible to the ground. This might not make sense to you, but it will at some point. You will process what I just said. So hip is opening, shoulders stay facing the ground. How do we do that? Plenty of time to figure out. Then step forward into low lunge with the right foot coming forward and anchor your back foot again, 45 degrees. Once the heel is on the ground, windmill your arms up into warrior two. What is warrior two? Warrior two is shoulders above your hips. Here you are in your second warrior pose. Arms parallel to the ground, lying on the horizon. And if you want to lift into sun warrior, you don't have to, you can. Little bit of a side bend again, and then windmill forward, 
low lunge. You're back on the ground. Step back into plank. Exhale, push down. Inhale, cobra. And exhale, you're back and downward facing dog. Ready for a second adventure? So here's our finale. Close your feet, lift your left foot as high as you can. Doesn't need to be high, just as high as you can. Then bend the left knee and try to point the left foot over to the right, opening the hip, but keeping both shoulders parallel to the ground. Yes, it's a twist in your spine. It's a chest opener. It's a spinal twist. And it's a hip opener. Then slowly lower down. Use whatever is necessary to come forward into low lunge with your left foot forward. Anchor your back foot. Heel pushes into the ground. And then windmill up into warrior two. Warrior two is also a hip opener. So arms on the horizon. You might want to look forward. So following your front hand. The gaze follows the front hand. And again, if you want to, if that's in it for you, come back into Sun Warrior. Side opener. Optional. Then keep breathing. Windmill your arms forward. Hands back on the ground. How wonderful. And step into plank. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog. You did it. Wonderful. Enjoy this down dog. You've been through a lot. We've been up and down and sideways. And we've been stretching and opening. Then come onto all fours. Knees on the ground. And then somehow bring those feet forward or just turn around. So that you can sit onto both of your sitting bones. Bend those knees. Grab your knees. And then first of all. Stretch your spine, push your sitting bones into the floor and reach out with the floor, with the crown of your head up. Then either stay here, just pulling the navel in, being really straight, or lean back, either still grabbing the back of your thighs or letting go of your hand, of your thighs. So this is core work. This is preparation of boat pose, which is working on the deep core muscles. So keep breathing, do your level, do whatever is in it for you here now. And then release, rounding the back, opening the chest, just letting go of that tension and breathe normally. You might have held your breath, which is never good, and then exhale and roll down. We're lying on our back. You can rest your head. And here we come into a bridge pose. So lifting the heel, uh, lifting the hips. Heels stay on the ground. And this is preparation of wheel. So we're trying to come into a back bend, whatever feels good for you. Again, come as high as you can. Can meaning which is in it for you without hurting yourself, without putting too much stress on your body. You're doing great so far, so just keep doing what you're doing. Hips up, heels down, shoulders down, and keep breathing. We're in our last few minutes here. And we're already coming down. We're already down on the ground. And slowly release those hips down. I like lying a little bit on my forearms, massaging my own forearms, giving myself a little self-love and massage here. And this is maybe uncomfortable for you. For me, it's great. So 
whatever feels good. Then release those hands. You might want to wave and uh, swing your knees from side to side, massaging your hip, your sacrum, the back of your hips on the ground. And now here we go for a rejuvenating pose. So the next one is allowing to have your blood flowing back to your heart. So bring your feet up, feet above your hips, either knees bend or as straight as you want. And you can either stay here with your hips on the ground or you come into candle pose. So lifting those hips into your hands, elbows on the floor and the weight is in your elbows. Not onto your neck, not in your spine, not on your head, in your elbows and in your hands. So find a position if you hear that feels good. And now release all tension in your legs. Release your calves, your thighs, your feet. And feel the blood coming back to your heart. Feel this blood coming back. This feels great. So your legs start to become weightless and light. And you can either stay here or you come into plow pose, which is trying to bring your feet behind your head, but just parallel to the ground or whatever you can. Just do what feels good. Again, you keep supporting your hips with both of your hands. Weight is in your elbows. So you keep having your weight in your elbows, not in your neck, your, the back of your head, not in your spine. And now this is the ultimate pose to calm down, to slow down, even to get ready to go to bed. This is calming your nervous system, saying, you got no more to do. This is evening, end of day, no more stress. You can relax and calm down now. And this is what your body is doing now. So breathe deeply, give your body oxygen, let your body rejuvenate, digest, repair, take in the trash out, whatever your body needs to do. Your body may be postponed because of the daily activities. Then stretching the left leg out on the ground, pulling the right knee in, change, left knee in, stretching the right leg out. And we're coming to the most important pose Shavasana, dead man's pose, where we are getting reborn, where we let the yoga class resonate in our body and letting it do its magic. So just lie down on the back, palms opening slightly to the sky, feet relaxing to both sides. Now remember breathing through the nose and listen to all the sounds that you can hear. The sound of your own breathing. The sound of my voice. This background music. And any other sound that you hear in your house or room, or if you're practicing outdoors of the wind. And you can either stay here if you need some more time or in case you fell asleep. And if you want to get up, try to slowly wake up your body 
Move your head, open your eyes, and slowly come up into sitting. Now breathe in, feel your body with air, and then deep inhale, close those hands in front of your heart. Thank you so much for joining. Have a wonderful day and see you all very soon. Bye.